and it looks like we get to paint whatever we want on top of it. It's gonna look so pretty. It smells good. Ah! and today we are going to be testing a bunch of slime stuff that we got at Five Below. So some of these are kits, some of this is already made slime, and some of these are like ingredients. So we just got a bunch of stuff at Five Below, and I'm going to be making stuff with them and reviewing them, and it's gonna be super fun. This is the first item that we are going to be testing. This is holographic oozos, oozing slime spheres. They are hollow, and I'm actually very interested to see what these are, because they show like the little balls, and then they show cracking when open and slime coming out. We shall see. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know if we make them, or if it already comes with all of the little balls. I see glitter. Oh, this is it. Okay. Open. Oh, okay. Didn't mean for that to happen, but that's all right. <laughs> Instructions and tips. So we'll take some of this stuff, right? Oh wait, activator base. Okay, I was right. <laughs> so we're just realizing that eight ounces is actually a lot, but that's all right. That is eight ounces. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this is doing. It's supposed to dissolve. Okay, I probably should have read the instructions before I started, but this is gonna take an entire hour to set, and I have homework still, so I think we're gonna pass and move on to the next thing. Sorry. If you wanna try this and you have an entire weekend to spare, then go spend $5 on this kit. So, because that one was a huge fail, we're gonna test out this pre-made rainbow ooze putty slime. It kind of looks like that Michael's slime that I've tested before, which was really good. I had it in my room for the longest time. So let's see if this is the new Michael's putty. It's soft. It rips pretty easily actually. So it says ooze on the package. So we kind of just picked out whatever was in the slime section and turns out this is not slime. This is putty because it does not stretch and it doesn't really poke either. It kind of like goes back to its original position. So it's pretty and all. It's good for squishing. Here, let's grab the other colors. This one is a little bit stretchier, but as you can see, it still rips. But if you're really, really slow, <laughs> Putty for five dollars. I know two dollars. Sorry, just because it's at five below doesn't mean it's five dollars. It can be less. Pretty good find. Next item. Let's try another kit. We've got a scented fizzy gloop, and I think we've tried a fizzy gloop before and it didn't fizz, but this time it's scented. So let's see. So step one, measure out 100 milliliters of warm water. Pour it into a paper or plastic cup. And Rebels are reusable. Use the spoon provided to add one little spoonful of sodium tetraborate. That's probably good. We'll just stir that around. Combine 10 milliliters of room temperature water with two spoonfuls of your active air and one spoonful of your fizzy glue mixture. Okay, do I stir? I'm stirring. There is a lot of dirt in this. Okay. <laughs> Can you see that? There's so much dirt in this bowl. Ew, mommy didn't wash this. <laughs> That's because dad washed it. Oh, dad. <laughs> Step three, in the beaker, add 40 milliliters of your fizzy gloop solution. The instructions are a little wonky and we only have 20 milliliters. So that's fun. Oh, never mind. We only have 15 milliliters. So we're just gonna make some of the slime, okay? With half a spoonful of baking soda. <gasps> I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So if you want to make this slime, you're, you're gonna be getting a lot of bowls and plates and cups really dirty. We have 
or plate. Slowly add the fizzy gloop activator in your beaker and stir until it reaches halfway up the beaker. Reaction will start to fizz. All right. This isn't working. <laughs> okay. I don't think you told me the right thing. You said that that was my solution and I don't think it was. <laughs> I asked you for one thing. You had one job. What? When? My job is to video. Your one job was to tell me which one was the solution. And you gave me the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't give you anything. You're the one that grabbed You it. said that one is the solution. So I was like, all right, I guess that one's the solution. And you know what happens, mom? My solution dies. This was the solution. This was my activator. Oh my and this is glue. <gasps> it's fizzy glue solution. Mom! <laughs> it's dead. Mom! In the arms of... Gotta save it. Oh, oh, I made slime. I made it. So this is our slime. It's pretty snazzastic. It smells good, like the box said it would, so that's good. It smells like cherry coke, so that's good. It smells good. Ah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> we probably ended up with like half the amount of slime we're supposed to get. <laughs> this should just be called glue. Why is it fizzy glue solution? It should just be glue. It's glue, that's what it is. It's red glue. So even though the instructions are not great because it's all labeled wrong, I still ended up making an okay slime and I think I might keep this. There's a chance you could get a good smelling, pretty snazzy slime. Next we have this glitter glue. We've got some clear glue, white glue, and activator. So these are Nickelodeon slimes. These are Art 101 and we've got some unicorn glitter like the brand is named unicorn that's kind of cool and then just some water beads so that's fun we're just gonna put it all together and see what we can make I feel like I don't make a lot of yellow slimes so let's do that usually glitter glues are pretty thick so we'll put some of that in there and then we'll make it a little bit thinner with some of this. More slimy once we add our activator. It's gonna look so pretty. Mix that together. So I picked like this white iridescent looking one. All right. And then just stir that in. Wow. I like that. So let's add in our activator now, our Nickelodeon slime activator. And then just get a little bit in there. Mix that all together. Whee! So it's thickening. I think it looks pretty good. There we go, it's coming together. This is the slime that I came out with. It's yellow and it's got iridescent glitter. And it's clicky, so that's fun. It's really stretchy. And yeah, it's a pretty good slime. We should add in our water beads because we did buy them. So I feel kind of obligated to use them. Let's do the red ones. Those will be easy to find. <laughs> Plop those in there. Okay, they look like fish eggs. I put fish eggs in my slime. That's the title of this video. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Pretty snazztastic. So this probably, wasn't supposed to be in the slime section, but we wanted to get them because they were there. So like, you never know. Maybe they're special somehow. They're staying in a little bit better. Just a, there, there it goes. So yeah, uh, yep, there it goes. So, but at least it didn't ruin the slime. It's just gonna fall out and then I'll have my old slime back. Time for a slime swirl. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, slime swirl. Ready? It's like a five out of 10. It was it was there, but it was quiet. I think that these ingredients do work pretty well for slime. This was definitely easier than the kit, and I think it came out better than the kits do, so I recommend this strategy of making slime. Just get a bunch of random ingredients from Five Below and make you some slime. 
The last slime that we have is a Nickelodeon slime, and usually these turn out pretty good. I have high expectations, but this is chalkboard slime, and it looks like we get to paint whatever we want on top of it. So I'm excited. Let's see. So this looks like our white paint to paint on our designs. We got some slime activator. So I'm actually pretty excited about this because the other slime kits that we did, you had to like mix your own activator. So this is gonna be a lot easier and a lot faster. We have a little measuring cup, pretty snazzy. More paint, we got black one, probably to color our slime. 20 ounces of clear glue. And then we've got our paintbrush to paint on our designs and some stirring sticks. This kit doesn't have any instructions. I'm just gonna go crazy. Oh, that sounded weird. So we got a good amount of glue. Now we can add our black paint. And I'm gonna use one of my stirring sticks. Just go bam. Get as much paint in there as possible. Yes, this is just, it's just a black slime. And now, simple as that, we can just activate. It comes with a little measuring cup, but I think I'm just gonna wing it because that's what I normally do. So, bloop, bloop, bloop. Stir that together. There we go. That thickened it a lot. Oh, 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 didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay, that's fine, we're fine, it's fine. Everything's good, everything's great. Okay, mmm, fun. This is not the kid's fault. This was entirely me. I am sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's in my hair! No! Yay. It feels like it'd be the right consistency when you stretch it, but then you touch it and it's like, no, it's not. It's really not. Okay. Okay, it's coming off. We're good. We're good! It's great. Everything is great. So we've got our slime. It kind of looks like tar to me, but it's stretchy tar. And then we can take our paint. Pablo Picasso. And then he needs his chips. Okay. <laughs> I have made my artwork. These are his eyes. This is his little mouth. And he's so cute and happy. And these are his double chins because he likes Cheetos. Yay! And then, boom. He decided he didn't like Cheetos anymore. And this is what he looks like, and he's so beautiful, and I love him. That's a flower. <laughs> We're going to stretch our flower. Oh my gosh, oh gosh, is he getting bigger? I can't tell, I can't see. Oh, he's quite beautiful. Whoa, that actually looks really pretty. Look, it's like water marble. We're stretching our slime, making art. Boom, art. <laughs> boop, boop. Yay, please give me an A. A plus. <laughs> that was pretty successful. Okay, so we've got all of our slimes set out in front of us. The first one, obviously, is the chalkboard slime. It's pretty good, it's really stretchy, and you can poke it. It goes back to its original position a little bit, but it's definitely not as much as the other putty that we tried, and I like the texture a lot. One thing I wanna say, not a bad thing, it's a really good thing actually, but the slime activator is pre-made, so I really like that because you can just make your slime without having to worry about making your activator right and get right into playing. I definitely like that about the Nickelodeon slime. The second one we have is the cherry cola smelling fizzy slime. This probably could have turned out right, but someone gave me the wrong solution, so. <laughs> but it smells really good. It smells like cherries and I really like it. Scented fizzy gloop and it smells like cherry cola and it's, I like it. It actually smells like cherry cola. And then the last one is the one that we made by ourselves. And I think this one was the best because you, there's no instructions. You just do whatever you want. So it's a little bit watered down. 
and stretches a little bit more. I still think it's really good. I think it was my favorite because it was the most fun to make and the most fun to play with afterwards because you're just so proud of your creation because you made it and it's great. That was the Five Below Slime Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have ever gone shopping for slime at Five Below. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to Where the Davis is. I now have my own channel. It's called Kayla Davis. So go subscribe over there. Tyler has his own channel. It's called Davis's Gaming. Go subscribe over there. And until next time, bye!